Have you ever wondered how to start investing? Perhaps you've dreamed of growing your money, creating a nest egg for the future or securing your financial freedom. Investing is a powerful tool for wealth creation and financial security. Yet many are deterred from starting often due to common misconceptions and myths. Some believe that investing is solely for the wealthy or that it's akin to gambling. These misconceptions can seem like towering barriers, preventing many from embarking on their investment journey. But here's the truth. Investing is for everyone, regardless of your income level, and it's much more than a game of chance. Investing, when approached with knowledge and discipline, can be a strategic method to grow your wealth over time. It's a journey of understanding the value of money, compounding, and risk management. Investing isn't as complicated as it may seem. Let's debunk some myths and unravel the mystery together. Before delving into the how of investing, we need to understand the what. What is investing? Investing at its core is about laying out money today with the expectation of getting more money back in the future. It's a strategic play where you allocate your resources in the hope of achieving a financial return. The purpose of investing is to build wealth over time and achieve financial goals, whether that's planning for retirement, funding your child's education, or buying that dream home. Now there are several types of investments you can make. Let's briefly touch upon some of the most common ones. First we have stocks, which essentially means buying a small piece of a company. When you own a stock, you own a slice of that company's future profits. Next up, are bonds. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending money to a company or government. In return, they agree to give you interest on your money and eventually pay you back the amount you lent them. Then we have mutual funds. This is a pool of funds collected from many investors for the purpose of investing in securities such as stocks, bonds, money market instruments, and similar assets. And of course, we cannot forget about real estate, which involves purchasing property for the purpose of generating income, either through rental income or through buying and selling at a higher price. Now it's important to understand the concept of risk and reward. Higher potential returns on investment usually come with higher risk. Stocks, for instance, can offer high returns, but carry a higher risk, while bonds are generally safer, but offer lower returns. Investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a long-term commitment that requires patience, research, and a good understanding of the market. Now that we know what investing is and the options available, let's explore how to start investing. So, how to start investing? It begins with a solid plan. Establishing a strong financial foundation is key to successful investing. It's like building a house. You wouldn't start with the roof, would you? Rather, you begin by laying a sturdy foundation, then gradually build upwards, brick by brick. The same principle applies to investing. Setting financial goals is your first brick. Are you investing for a comfortable retirement, your child's college fund, or perhaps to buy a house in the next five years? Your goals will determine your investment strategy. For instance, if you're investing for retirement 30 years from now, you might invest more aggressively. But if you're saving for a down payment on a house in five years, you might choose more conservative investments. The next brick is understanding your risk tolerance. This is essentially your capacity to endure potential losses. If the thought of losing money keeps you awake at night, you might be a conservative investor. On the other hand, if you're comfortable taking risks for the potential of higher returns, you might be an aggressive investor. Knowing your risk tolerance helps you choose investments that are right for you. Your investment horizon, or the length of time you expect to hold your investments before cashing them in, is another crucial element. If you have a long-term horizon, you might be able to take on more risk because you have more time to recover from any potential losses. But if your horizon is short, you might want to stick to safer investments. Once you have a clear understanding of your financial goals, risk tolerance and investment horizon, you can develop an investment plan that suits your needs. This plan will guide your investment decisions and help you stay on track to reach your financial goals. Remember, investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a journey that requires patience, discipline, and a well-thought-out plan. And just like any journey, it's easier when you know where you're going and how you plan to get there. Having a plan is the first step. Next, we need to choose the right platform for investment. Choosing the right platform can make your investment journey smoother. Let's take a peek at some options. First, we have brokerage accounts, the online marketplace for buying and selling securities. They're versatile, providing access to a wide variety of investments, but they also require a more hands-on approach. Then there are retirement accounts, such as individual retirement accounts or 401ks. These offer tax advantages for long-term retirement savings, 
but they limit your access to your funds until you reach a certain age. Next up, robo-advisors. These are digital platforms that provide automated, algorithm-driven financial planning services with minimal human supervision. They're great for beginners, offering a low-cost, low-effort way to start investing, but they offer less control and personalization. Each platform has its pros and cons, and the best choice depends on your personal needs, goals, and comfort level. Remember, the platform is just a tool. The key to successful investing lies in consistent learning and adapting. Investing is not a one-time act, but a journey. As we venture into the realm of investing, it's crucial to understand that this is a constant voyage of discovery. It's a process of continuous learning, where every decision, every investment, is an opportunity to grow, not just financially, but also in knowledge and experience. Just as a gardener carefully monitors their plants, adjusting to the changing seasons and weather, an investor needs to keep a keen eye on their investments, adapting as per market changes. Changes in market conditions are inevitable, but what's essential is how we respond. Remember, patience is a virtue, especially in investing. Market fluctuations can stir up a storm of emotions, but it's important not to let panic take the wheel. Instead, stay patient, stick to your plan, and make informed decisions. That's a wrap on how to start investing. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Happy investing!